Hello, my name's Peter DiMarzo. I'm the National Vice President of the Backflow Prevention Association of Australia, and I'm here in conjunction with Watts to show you how to repair a Watts 009 RPZD. Repair of the 007 or the 009 Watts ranges in size from 15 through to 50 millimetre. Their external and internal appearances may vary across the, size, the sizes, but the repair procedure is the same for all the valves. The preparation, we need to turn off the upstream and the downstream isolation valves, open test taps numbers one, two and three to relieve any pressure. Once that's gone, we can now remove the bolts from the cover and lift the cover straight off. If the valves are 009, after we remove the cover, we take out the relief assembly and the spring. We then remove the retainer and we pop out check valve number two and then check valve number one. If you can't get them out, just use a screwdriver and just ease check valve number one out. Don't get them mixed up because they are different. To repair the modules, what you do, you Unclick them like that, and you can check the rubber, the spring, and the seat. If the rubber is damaged, you can buy them from Watts and replace them, or in the short term, you can flip the washer over. For the 009, being an RPZD, they just go back together like that. You check the seat. If the seat is damaged, you just pop that up from the bottom, and you can replace the seat as well. These go back in the same way that they come out. Number one check goes in first. The number two check goes in second. When you're doing this on field, you would normally grease all the O-rings. The retainer would go back in. You then check the relief. That has an O-ring there, which may need to be replaced. If you're servicing this, the rubbers, this rubber is good. So that doesn't need to be replaced. You would unscrew that and replace the rubber. You unscrew this at the bottom and replace the sealing washer at the bottom. Once that's all been checked and parts replaced, again, grease the O-rings, pop it back into the housing. Don't forget the spring, put the spring on, pop it down there, push it back down and turn, put the bolts back in. Once the cover is back on and all the bolts are tight, close your test points, slowly open the upstream isolation valve, the downstream isolation valve, that restores water back to the system. There is a Phillips screw on the top, let that off, let the air out, Close that and it is restored back for use.